Hello, hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome to our first Transport Fever 2 livestream. I'm very excited for this uh, because it's Transport Fever. Transport Fever 2 is absolutely awesome. There is no music in the background, we love the Transport Fever music, but unfortunately we can't have the music because I get told off for copyright. Uh, so yeah, that's why it's a very quiet menu page. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we're going to be, uh, we're going to have an absolutely fantastic uh, couple of hours. I'm aiming for about an hour and a half to two hours today. Uh, just, uh, well, we'll see how we get on, won't we? Uh, now, I've been sent by the lovely, lovely people at Urban Games. It is Urban Games that make this, isn't it? I think so. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I've been sent the Deluxe Edition download, which is very exciting. Uh, very, very exciting indeed. In fact, I'm just going to ping the Steam up there so I can show you all uh, the Deluxe Edition. Uh, oh, hang on, no, of course. Oh, there we go. Deluxe Upgrade Pack. Very exciting. Uh, in this, you get a couple of extra trains, a couple of extra maps, some new animals for the landscape, and uh, you can also use the Train Fever and Transport Fever uh, original uh, packs as well. That's going to be £8.50, and if you get it now, uh, before the 16th of March, you get 20% off, and it's £6.80. So, yes, let's have a look at who we've got in the chat. We've got Jack Edgley. Hello, you've been waiting an hour. Wow. Sims and Stuff, hello. Uh, Magic Toad, good evening. Welcome to our stream. We've got Nathan as well. Uh, Carl Foster, hello. Alex Turton. Oh, we've got a good few people in this evening. That's good. That is excellent. So, uh, yeah, let's have a look at what we're going to be doing. It's going to be vanilla vehicles, uh, but we're going to be using all of them. So we're going to be using the European set, the American set, and the uh, the the Asian set as well. So you get these three new maps here. You get Vast Valley, which is obviously a temperate climate, Curvy Canyon, and that's a desert climate, and Boundless Bay, which is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be having the uh, enabled Urban Games mod in there, which is brilliant, and the map size is 12 kilometers by 12 kilometers. 1930 was starting it, uh, so we're going to have a look and see. Uh, just check up to six cargo types. Industry do not close, that's good. Uh, industry density target, we'll just leave that disabled. So the industries won't close down and they won't start up either. Excellent. Pop in the options here. Uh, we're not going to use any mods just because we're going to be seeing how, uh, how it is. Without the mods, you might not have mods, you might be playing on console where you can't get mods. I don't know if the workshop is available, the Steam Workshop, on console. I'd hesitate uh, to guess with that, I'd imagine it wouldn't be. So we're going to be using Tropical Climate with all the vehicles. Uh, we'll use Asian Town Names, Tropical, and we'll play it on easy mode, because, you know. Uh, right, there we go. We'll see how we get on. Oh, we've got Imran, hello. Uh, welcome to our, uh, to our stream. We've got Noms Travel, Joshua Plays... Uh, Poker Mill? Is it Poker Mill? Yep. Uh, Michael Kelly, hello. Peter Thomas, very well, very well. How are you this evening? I'm hoping you're, uh, I'm hoping you're all good. Well, you're here, so, you know, uh, yeah. All very exciting, very exciting. Because we've got no mods and it's not the biggest map in the world, it's going to load fairly quickly. Look at that. I mean, isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it's paused. There we go. I wondered why there was no sound. We're on a little desert island in the middle of the sea. Oh, we're not in the middle of the sea. There's another island here. Beautiful. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. They have done some work to improve uh, the reliability of this so that it doesn't uh, doesn't lag as much. Because that is a thing. When this starts getting uh, starts getting a bit hectic, it does lag, doesn't it? There we go. We'll have to remember this little island. So, yeah, this is the size of the map. Compared to the cross-continental America series, it's not very big. It's quite small. Uh, all the maps are this size, 12 kilometres by 12 kilometers so uh, yeah they're not the biggest I was really hoping for something a bit bigger in all honesty and I was a little disappointed when you got the three maps but hey ho uh, it's you know it's only eight pound fifty three maps new vehicles okay perhaps I was expecting a bit much but uh, yeah we've got Silverdale Castle Point Hastings these aren't very Asian town names are they despite the fact I ticked uh, Asian town names but I guess this is uh, this is what they put in beforehand isn't it so yeah having a look around we've got plenty of industries uh, plenty of towns and uh, i mean obviously you look you've got the towns in a horseshoe shape round here it is going to mean a really nice railway running down the side of this road isn't it i mean it, it absolutely does mean that that's not up for negotiation we've got boats that we can use over to riversdale beach oh it's, it's um, you know maybe over to masterton shouldn't uh, shouldn't count them out but yeah we've got a long nice ferry line so there's plenty of things that we can do here um 
yeah, there's, uh, yeah, brilliant, 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 brilliant. Uh, hang on a second. Let's have a look. That You might be right there, Steve. Have I accidentally uh, not selected all the vehicles? Let's put a train depot down. Yep, I've not selected all the vehicles. Right, okay, hang on. Let's just nip back to the menu because we want all the vehicles, don't we? I click back, not apply. What idiot does that? Boundless Bay. There we go. Select options. B -b 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 vehicles all. I clicked back, didn't I? Idiot. Right. <laughs> For goodness sake. We're, uh, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. All vehicles. Boundless Bay. Go. It's a good job it doesn't take a long time to load, isn't it? Since they've done all the uh, all the work with the uh, the, the doodah, the, the map, reducing the amount of polygons in the map and the scenery, it really does load so much quicker. I'll tell you that now. Uh, can we do a City Skylines stream one day, Pete? I am absolutely sure we can. Let's just double check before we get too excited. Have I managed to... Uh, have we sorted it now? Of course we have. We've got all the vehicles. Excellent. Right, okie dokie. So we'll get rid of that. Where are we? Uh, oh no, we've still got the town names. I guess it's a pre-made map, isn't it? So, uh, yeah. I started this. It's all Russian trains. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we have got everything now, so we'll see how we get on. First things first, I mean, we've got something quite easy here, haven't we? We've got Hastings that needs food. Uh, we've got a food processing plant and some grain there, so that's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Another thing you're going to have to see is uh, you can't delete the fields anymore. You used to be able to build through them and delete them, but since the new update, you can build over them, which is a bit weird, but you can't delete them. So roads like this that are little roads, you can't upgrade them. Isn't that annoying? I tell you, it's really, really annoying. Um, but hey-ho, that's uh, that's how it is now. So we can't actually upgrade that. We can, can upgrade that there. So we'll upgrade the roads so they're nice and big. And uh, we'll have a road going over here as well over to Hastings and we're just looking for something early on nothing too spectacular but it's going to generate us some uh, some quick cash there we go zero on there lovely and then uh, hang on we need we need this here one and one uh, or should we have two we'll treat ourselves to two there we go uh, oh yeah because Silverdale actually needs food as well so we'll uh, we'll pop that on. Hi, shoot cat. How are you? And uh, of course, who else have we got? We've got Alexander Hughes. Yes, you could use a Hong Kong ferry across to the island because that's one of the new vehicles that we've got available, isn't it? So uh, yeah, we we could use the Hong Kong ferry. Shall we? Uh, we will look at that. Um, can we do a Roblox live stream on Stepford County Railway? God loves a trier. Tell you that now. But Stepford County, I have absolutely no plans to be going back to Stepford County, unfortunately. Uh, so yeah, that's as much as I might say one day, uh, it probably won't happen. Right, why can I not upgrade these roads? I've got it on upgrade mode. Ah, oh, there we go. Bizarre. Right, there we go. It's lovely. You're all fine there. Move the houses out. Upgrade it. Awesome. And we'll put the depot, should we put the depot about here? That'll do. Near Castle Point. Lovely. Right here, yeah, so we'll have... Uh, a new line in there, and we'll stick with the other convention for naming that we've used before. Castle oop, Point Grain. Get some lorries on there. What's the best lorry we can use? We've got a fair few, haven't we? Horrible. How could Transport Fever 2 do this to us? I know it's it's horrendous, isn't it? Uh, right, tarpaulin truck. Ooh, this is hard. Uh, right, you can carry nine and do 19 mile an hour. You can carry eight. Oh, you can carry six and go faster. What are you? You're nine. Okay, you can carry grain. So we're going to go with the nine and 25, aren't we? Should we, have, uh, should we have five vehicles? See how we get on. We can always add more on later, can't we? Oh, I've not unpaused it. There we go. They're off. Well, hey. At the queue. Rightio. So we need you uh, to have over to Hastings. Truck. Hastings food and then what I think we'll do is we'll make use oh we've not actually got a road over to Silverdale I thought that that would be pre-made for us Castle Point just not near Bournemouth yeah absolutely is the DLC worth the money I would say it was you get a couple of extra vehicles a couple of extra maps and uh, you've 
I mean, I'd, I'd say I say it's worth the money. I didn't buy it, did I? So uh, yeah, I was sent it for free. I feel like I need to. Uh, well, I, I, I did mention that earlier, but um, yeah, while it's on sale at six pound twenty, uh, pick it up. I think it's eight pound fifty when it's uh, when it's no longer on offer. But for six pound twenty, yeah, it's it's a really nice addition to be honest with you, and it's. Um, I think the problem that they'll always have with this is selling this as a DLC is hard work because yeah, you get extra maps, but you can pick them up free in the workshop, arguably better maps, uh, and you get extra vehicles, but you can pick them up in the workshop as well for free. So I always think that games like City Skyline, uh, Cities Skyline, sorry, with the content creator packs, I always think they're going to struggle to sell them. Let's see if we can, because that's upgraded there. I didn't think it had. Let's see if we can. Build a perfectly straight road. Aha! Joe won. Fields nil. Look at that. Right. Brilliant. So we can actually get over to Silverdale with a proper road now. Lumix, hello. Welcome to the stream. JetBlue Pilot. Oh, wow. Uh, are you actually a JetBlue Pilot? Or is it JetBlue Virtual? Or is it... Uh, or do you actually... I don't know. But if, if you are a genuine JetBlue Pilot, that's pretty cool. Welcome to our stream. Of course. Matt Tree, good evening. Uh, oh, we've got a fair few people in, haven't we? Let's see if you can create heavy traffic in the 1930s in the island today. Heavy traffic is... Uh, I, I imagine we can do that. All right, let's have a look. We'll, uh, we'll have another one there. Castle Point to Silverdale. And that will be Truck Silverdale Food. I've not actually put any trucks on there yet, have I? So we'll have five on one and five on the other. Can you carry food? Uh, no, it doesn't appear you can. Can you? Uh, no, no food. Right, okay. Uh, right, ten of you. One, two, three, four. Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Hastings food and Silverdale food. And I reckon that we're going to have to just nip on into here to the Castle Point grain and shove another five out. Because look at that, we've got 46 items of grain waiting. Oh, they are the cutest, aren't they? I love the vehicles where you actually, something loads on the back. That's brilliant. I'd like to see a bus route from city to city. Yeah. We could do bus routes from cities to cities. I think that, uh, I think we're probably going to end up with a bus route between those two, because a train, we might struggle to get a train over there early on. So yeah, that's, that's actually a really good call. You know what, I think we'll get that going early on. Hmm. Bus route there to there. Ferry route to there. Ah. You might be on something there. Or you might be on to something, sorry. Right, okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put a ferry. <gasps> but if we've got a route coming past here on the train. You see, I think that this is calling out for a ferry here. If we, if we pop that there with a the large terminal. Like that. Yeah. Or should we upgrade it to a bigger road first? Yeah, let's do that. We've got two million in the bank still. Okay, it's not going to cost too much to upgrade. We'll upgrade it down to there for the time being. Droxley, hello, good evening. Can we have a cross-country route? Uh, yeah, we will probably have something that goes all the way around the map in terms of trains. Uh, I'd like some sort of really busy main line with lots of trains going up and down. But again, with uh, it, it will be easier because the towns can accept more goods as they get bigger. So that means you can have lots more freight flying up and down. It's a lot easier to do and create big freight hubs uh, than it used to be. Right, let's see. Can we get you to look vaguely decent? The answer appears to be no. Right, we could just shove you in there. Awesome. Right, okay. I mean... That is literally on a beach. I'm sure that any sort of big ferry will ground there. But this is the magic of Transport Fever 2. So we're going to uh, we're going to pretend that that's not the case. So if we shove you in there, can you get everywhere on the island? Yeah, everyone can reach it. Is that okay? I mean, it's it's truly hideous, isn't it? The 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 ground, the everything's lumpy. Doesn't look professional at all, but it's fine. I mean, we built it. What were you expecting? Uh, what does the update give you, Imran? It gives you six new vehicles. It gives you uh, three new maps to play with. And there's a lot of animals as well. If you zoom in, you can see animals somewhere on the map. I don't know if we will see them today. We might see one or two on our travels. I think it's... Is it pumas that you'll see in Asia? Oh, what's this down here? 
Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a bear. Okay, bears were already on. Got any other animals? I don't know. There is three other animals that you do get uh, that you just see roaming round. But it doesn't appear that there's any of them here today. You'd have thought pumas, they'd be more jungle, so they're going to be maybe down here? I don't know. They've also, uh, I think you get it as a free update, the, uh, that they've been working on the polygons to make sure that like scenery uses less polygons, so the map uh, loads quicker and doesn't lag as much when you get late game. Uh, the cross-continental America series, I know, since the update, has loaded so much quicker, it's unreal. It, it really, it really is amazing how, how good it is. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll stick a bus station in here, because we're actually not doing anything, are we, at the minute? We're looking at trees. Right. See, I think that could fit in there. 30? We could fit a 30. 30 metre bus station in there, but the sea's in the way. So what we'll do is we shall... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Flatten the terrain. Brush size, and... There we go, so we'll pop it to that. Let's just have a bit of that. That doesn't look brilliant, does it? For goodness sake. <laughs> it looks terrible. Right, turn the strength down. Like that. There we go. Oh, that's, that's still terrible, but it's better. Now oh, we could just sort of blame it on some sort of sand dune, couldn't we? Right, we'll, uh, we'll get you there like that. How's that then? Oh, it's ghastly, isn't it? We'll have to put like some palm trees in to make it look a bit better. How are people going to get to the ferry? They've got no way to get there without transportation. Absolutely. Well, we're just working on that currently. That was what I meant with the bus route from there to there. We could also get it here. We can also have a train station in maybe so that the trains going down the coast can stop at the ferry port. So we could actually have a little transport interchange just out of town. I think that'll look pretty awesome. Uh, so, right, we've got that there. Just do the circular bus routes in one city to the railway station on every location. Uh, yeah, we could do that, but I, I quite like to... Plus, these two, we want to generate demand between the towns, and we're not going to be able to afford to build a train line up here for a long time yet, because it's going to need tunnels and bridges and all sorts. So we'll, we'll do this for now and see how we get on. So you're going to go, obviously, through the centre of town. Can we get... Oh, that, that bus stop literally gets everybody, doesn't it, there? That's awesome. And what we'll do is we'll delete you, and we'll build you round to here. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. Does the DLC include UK trains? Uh, it has an HST in the DLC, uh, but I do already have an HST from the workshop. There is uh, plenty of HSTs available on the Steam Workshop. So again, is it worth it for just an HST? I don't know. Personally, I you know I I play this, I live stream it. So I'm going to see the benefit, because obviously, you know, it's uh, it's it's fun to live stream it. But uh, yeah, if you've if you've already like got pretty much everything that you need through the workshop, probably not worth it to be honest with you. But it's a nice little pack to have all the same. Have we got all the coverage there? Does that cover that covers round there? Yeah, that covers round there. We, we might have a little circular bus going round. Absolutely, absolutely. It was very kind of her to send a key over. Uh, I, I feel a bit guilty, actually, because I wasn't looking in uh, in my emails and completely missed it. Uh, so it was sort of a last-minute thing. I've actually had this key for quite a while before. Uh, she must have thought I was just being rude, taking the key and not streaming it or, uh, or doing a video on it. But uh, So I thought we'd better do that. But yeah, it was very kind of them to send a key over. And good evening, Studio Polygon. Welcome to the stream this evening. Uh, right, Castle Point to Hastings. I don't think we're going to bother with the bus down to Silverdale. Because we don't need it, do we? We've got a depot there. What buses can we use then? We can use the Daimler's, uh, Daimler Deck Streetcar. We want something reasonably fast. You can do 25. You're sort of a no-go up there, aren't you? So the 25 mile an hour is where we're going to be at. 45 capacity 8. Okay, you're a bit slower, you can carry more. Uh, what should we go with? I think we'll go with the 25, because you can do 25. And that way you won't be holding everything up. Should we have uh, 10 here? Oh, we will do when we've borrowed some money, anyway. There we go. 
10. We'll see how we get on with 10. That'll do. CP Trains, good evening. And Jack the Omsi fan, hello. I apologise it's not Omsi, but uh, hopefully it'll be just as enjoyable anyway, despite the fact it's not Omsi. So, what have we got here? We need more of that. And we need more of that as well. We'll have more food trucks. How are we doing in terms of grain? I imagine there'll be plenty waiting there. There is. So we'll see if we can... Uh, can we have a bit more grain? Five more? Yeah. Happy with that. Get them going. Lovely. Okay, I mean, we're... Um we're not exactly raking it in at the moment, are we? Oh, this is new. Tracks, towns, there's more things you can see in here. Finances table, finances chart. Yeah, there's a lot more expenditure than income. So we've made 1,900... Oh, no, hang on. That's, uh, that's 1930. That's the year. And you can... Can you, can you turn that down? You can't do anything with that. I thought the game had crashed for a second. This seems to go up and down, but obviously, uh, that, yeah, value... Yeah. Yeah, company value seems to have gone down. That's not brilliant. Okay, right. Let's, uh... What are we? We're Bay Logistics. Oh, no. Let's have... Oh. Where's the sound gone? Has all the sound just completely disappeared there? I think we might have hit a bug. Oh, no. Hang on. What's happened there? Everything, all the sounds disappeared, except for the clicky sound. Oh, I've paused it. That's why all the sound, for goodness sake. <laughs> why don't you try putting other buses that don't matter on the speed and passenger capacity on one bus route and see how you like it? Well, yeah, that's very true. We could have capacity buses running around the towns and then speed buses running between the towns. That might work better. Yeah, at least it's... <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Imran. Uh... What about a live stream for City Bus Manager? There's so many games that we play, isn't there? I just simply don't have, I don't have the time to live stream them all. We'll get round to it eventually. Yeah, maybe it's just quiet. Nope, it was me because pressing space pauses the game. I, I never knew that. Never knew that. I thought that we'd found some sort of bug for a second there. Nope, turns out it's just that I'm incompetent. As always. <laughs> Nothing changes. Right, what else have we got? So we've got a construction materials plant there. Have we got some stone hanging around? No. We've got some stone there. There's a lot of stone. Right, we've got bricks there. Bricks, bricks. Okay. I mean, I did sort of want to kind of stay around one place. But I think we need to really just get cracking, don't we? Uh, can we have a UK train on here? We won't be able to, Imran, uh, until we unlock the HST. I don't think we'll be able to... Oh, that's what I was doing. I was doing the egg quarter, wasn't I? Do we need to spend £500,000 on a headquarter just yet? Probably not. Look at them all. All the little cars going. We are quite literally... Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to struggle perhaps with traffic if these towns and cities keep growing. Nothing changes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, is there City Skylines tomorrow? Yes, there is going to be City Skylines tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's all recorded. It's a disaster. If you like me sitting around... Like, basically, almost bursting into tears because I'm so stressed out with everything. Then, yeah, you're going to really enjoy tomorrow's City Skylines, to be honest with you. Look what I've not put in. There we go. Castle Point. Over to Riversdale. So, you will be the ferry. Castle Point. To Riversdale. Lovely. That'll be nice. Oh, hang on. No, we're building the headquarters again. Borrow some money. It's a good job I've got a vaguely good credit rating. It's amazing, given Joe Head Group's gone bust so many times on uh, on OMSI, how good my credit rating is. Yep, uh, Castle Point to Silverdale, that's absolutely going to be by train, I think. So, we've got the... Uh, yeah, we don't appear to have the new vehicles. Where are the new vehicles? Maybe we've not unlocked the Hong Kong ferry yet. We'll buy one of them and see how we get on. Look at that water. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Makes me want to go on holiday. Thing is, is they always slam the door down on the ship. It never gets out. They never leave the the, uh, the docks 
open long enough. Because I'm pretty sure if this happened... Oh, no. <laughs> if that happened in real life, they'd slice it in half and it'd sink. I'm sure that that's going through the sand. The wheel is going through the sand, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to have to use our imagination. Why, why are you going all the way over there first? I guess there's nobody waiting there, so there's no point, is there? <laughs> yeah, for goodness sake. Do you build the headquarters? Yeah, I do normally. I just didn't think we had an awful lot of money. Tell you what we'll do. We'll build it in the... Uh, so Castle Point's going to be like our main... Is it going to be our main place? I've not decided where our main place is yet. Maybe Masterton. Because that, that's got like a lot of industry around it. Plenty of... You know, I think we could have a good hub. That might be... And it's quite pretty. Look at that bridge. It's lovely. Maybe Masterton will be our first place. Or our, our big place. I don't know. We'll see how we get on. What we will do, however, whilst we are here, is we shall have a... Uh, we'll, we'll have some lorries going to Masterton to make some bricks. There we go. We'll, uh, we'll have you in there. There we go. Pop you... Yeah, we'll pop it at that side. Again, we could really do this with trains. But I just think early on, we've not really got a lot of money, have we? So we'll... Uh, we'll... Oh, I'm, I'm deleting the flipping city now. That's not what we need. <laughs> the 30s weren't the most stable times in terms of finances. Hopefully the company can survive. Well, I'm hoping as well, because it won't be a very long live stream, will it, if, uh, if we go bust in the first 10 minutes. Uh, right, okay. So you're going to go up through town, through all the housing. They're not going to be happy about that, are they? But I uh, suppose they'll just have to lump it, won't they? You can go up there. Yep. And then, oh, we'll upgrade the rest of this road while we're here. That'll be nice. It's going to be a very, very long... Where's that going? Too much slope. No, no, okay. Well, we won't upgrade all of that then. Just one. Yep. Get it in there. Oh, hang on. Nope. There we go. About the no-costs mode. We're not on the no-cost mode. <laughs> we perhaps should be. Uh, yes, I did turn off the traffic despawning in City Skylines. Uh, and that is what caused me to basically burst into tears. It also helps when I'm building uh, truck stations. If I build truck stations and not bus stations. I'm really glad that I caught that early on. If I was sat there wondering why on earth uh, nothing was working. There we go. Pop you on there. Platforms left and right. We've got no money again. That's no good. We'll borrow the maximum money. And then we need... To drop some bricks off in Masterton. So we'll drop them off there. That covers everything, doesn't it? We'll drop them off there. That side of the river, then we can have another stop there. At least it means as well that all the, the vehicles that drop the stone off are, are also making money part of, uh, part of the way back. Pop you in there and stop there on the way back. Chung Yung Street. Yeah. Sounds like me in open TTD. Yep, yeah, just realised in time, shoot cat. <laughs> right, truck. Uh, Masterton bricks. Um, we need some sort of depot over here, don't we? Well, we'll put the depot in the industrial district. You know, it won't look out of place in the industrial district, will it? Uh, what is the best vehicle we have available? Okay, you can go fast, you can carry stone, and you can carry bricks. Why have we got two of you? Okay, fair dues. I reckon we'll probably need about 20. Truck, Masterton bricks. There we go. It is a long way, isn't it, by truck? Maybe train would be better, but uh, but yeah. it's uh, Maybe they would be better. Oh, I don't know. No, because we won't be able to fit the train anywhere. That's the wrong chasm. There'll be nowhere to put a train station, will there? Alexander Hughes, hello, welcome to our uh, our live stream. And Logan, yes, I've seen the new uh, trailer for Bus Simulator 21. People keep saying, "Are you playing? Are you? Why are you not playing it?" But I'm sure it's not out till May. Um, can't play a game that's not released yet. As much as I'd like to, 
but yeah, it's not out just yet, but I will be playing it when it comes out. I can't say that I'm particularly hopeful for it, but uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. I'm intrigued why that stopped producing. Because, I mean, it says it can produce 200. I'm sure 200 is more than that. Hmm. Not entirely sure. Maybe on the other side of the sea you can see Joe struggling with some twisters in a minibus. Yeah, this is the sort of location, isn't it? Running out of Castle Point, weaving up the hill to get away from a tsunami. Yeah, it's, it's definitely kind of has a bit of a, a, a sort of essence of bus world. God, that game scares me, I tell you. It really does. Yeah, things are going to take a long time at 25 mile an hour to get down here, aren't they? I wonder if we could maybe build a train between the two. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Should we see? Oh, it's going to cost a lot of money, though. I don't want to go bust. Oh, well. May as well get on with it. Are we using electric? Should we use electric to start with? 1930s, bit of electric. In fact, no, do you know what? We'll, we'll play electric trains later. Let's use steam and diesel for now. Monty's Transport and More, good evening, welcome to our stream. Seen Bus Simulator 21. It always gives me that ad on YouTube. Oh, I didn't realise they were actually having it as an advert. I thought you meant have I just seen the, because uh, they put it on their YouTube channel, haven't they? Or was it on Steam, or it was somewhere, wasn't it? Right, there we go, 40 mile an hour coming out of the station. Should be alright. Why can't I, uh... Collision. Collision with what? Collision with itself. That's not good. Oh, because this. Oh, right, okay. Don't know why that's happened. It's built a little piece of track there that it's not lined up with. Well, I don't want that to be in a tunnel. We'll have that in a valley. Right, let's see. Can we can we have 40 mile an hour either side now? Collision. Why? Has it got, like, the old train fever thing where you, you couldn't couldn't build crossovers, because if you remember in Train Fever, you couldn't. It made building big stations really difficult. Oh, right, okay. Right, we can have a 30 mile an hour crossover. Just not a 40. Brilliant. Marvellous. Cheers for that. Right, we're going to have the station here. And then they'll get the bus into town. I think that sounds like a brilliant plan. Like that. And then you can just get off the ferry straight onto the train. It's a little bit out of town, isn't it? But I'm sure it'll do. Were the buses evenly spaced out in city skylines? No, they weren't. They were um, very, very much clumped together. Uh, I'm very well, Ethan. How are you this evening? Uh, they might not be good electrics. Exactly, exactly. Uh, boat dock for the stone. That's an interesting one. Which boat dock? Which stone? Do you mean for that one? We could have shipped it down by ferry, couldn't we? But I'm sure that would take a long time, surely. I mean, the, the trucks do 25 mile an hour. What can you carry? You can do 20 mile an hour. But you can carry a lot more. That might not be such a bad idea. But I think if we put a dock in there, we're not going to be able to... They've done that deliberately, haven't they, with that, that high wall there. Never mind, that would have been a brilliant idea. I like that. What theme are we going for on this save? Uh, I don't really know, to be honest with you. I was just going to play it to be more functional rather than make it look pretty. Uh, do you know what we're going to do as well? We're going to have a station here. I think. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to have a station there. And we're going to... I'm completely making this up as I go along. Right. Two stops will be removed. Okay. We're just going to... We're just going to keep that like that. Yep. And sort of... Because I think, off the top of my head, by doing it like this, if it's in a valley like this, the noise from the trains doesn't get out? Am I imagining that? Or is that is that what happens? Right, hang on, bridge pillar. So we'll pop you there, like that. Look at that. Couple of bridges. That looks awesome, doesn't it? I mean, they're, they're not held up by anything. 
Am I doing a Transmap Regional? I absolutely will be doing a Transmap Regional. We're going to have... Uh, we might even do two Transmap Regionals, because we've got, like, a branch off to Hastings and a branch off to Silverdale. And then if you follow it round, what I had noticed is you could do, like, a coastal one down to Port Charles and Glenburn. Because there's two, there's a massive mountain range separating Glenburn, so you could do a coastal route that splits off at Masterton down there, and then another one that goes round. So that's two branches at this end, two branches at this end with like a busy central section. So yeah, I think that's gonna that's gonna be brilliant. Hastings is now demanding goods. Well, that's why you're going wrong. You should ask nicely. Should be no demanding, no demanding at all. Right. What was I doing? I was building this. So we could... Where does flat bring us out? Flat brings us out there. Okay, 1.8 million. It's a lot of money, isn't it? But it's going to have to be built. Hastings now demands fuel. They've not learnt the lesson the first time round, have they? Trans Mountain Express. That might be what we've got to call it. Will all the episodes be live? I don't know, to tell you the truth. Um, I've not really thought about how we're going to do this. Um, we could do more lives. If everyone wanted more lives, then we could absolutely do it. If, uh, you know, if that was what you were wanting and that was what everybody enjoyed. Yeah, I, I don't see why not. Alright, there we go. That's going to go down there. That's looking lovely. This is going to be a pain. But it's fine. Should we have a bit of 45? Could use the high speed track. I am aware of that. HST for Transmap Regional. We could do that, couldn't we? Bit of HST action. That's going to sink down to 43, but it's fine because they'll be leaving the station at that point. Problem with using the HSTs, Imran, is that everything on here, European, uh, Asian and American, are all right-hand drive, aren't they? So the HST will look really bizarre. Because it won't, you know, it won't be right-hand drive. <laughs> well, it will be right-hand drive, but it should be left-hand drive. There we go. Right, get you in there. Bit of a crossover. Lovely. Get that in. One way, of course, yeah. We can also, we need some sort of massive, uh, absolutely massive goods hub, don't we? Like, round here, actually for Castle Point, Hastings and Silverdale to ship the goods over with lots of trains coming in and out we, we, oh yeah that's sounding good make sure they don't blow the horn when leaving the station yeah just past the residential zone yeah people won't be happy at that will they let's have a 30 there we go And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start down the other end. Won't have time for live. Oh, no. Never mind. We do plenty of live streams, don't we? We don't stream all the time, but uh, there's plenty more. So if you do miss a live stream, uh, hopefully you'll catch another one. Uh, right, hang on. Train. First train. Lovely. Silverdale to Castle Point. So obviously I don't really know how this one's going to play out, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, we'll have a bus. Should we have a bus? Do we need a bus? Could we get away with a tram? Now you're talking. Um, I would like to, but this is a bit windy, isn't it? So if we build a street down here, like that, we could go all the way down there into town and round, couldn't we? That's, that's going to look good. Go down there. Is that going to... No, that's not good. That is not acceptable. Go right higher. No, nope, too close. Too close. Too close. <laughs> Tell you what we'll do. We'll try uh, We'll try flatten. Ah, now that's better. Cooking with gas now. Make sure they can use any platform they want when it's busy. Absolutely. I shall make sure that we do that uh, in just a moment. Although, to be fair, I probably won't do that until later on. And the reason I say that is because uh, we're only going to have one train at this early stage. So that can go like that. And then you can come to there like that. That's going to look brilliant. 
builds it and then always upgrades with tram track rather than just building with tram track. I, I always do it that way and I've got no idea why I do it that way. It's just something I'd, I'd do. Right, there we go. Brilliant. So you're going to go down there and round and then stop on the end here. Nice stop there. Some nice high density trams, that's what we want. Always make sure you connect everything, absolutely, absolutely. The amount of times I forget to connect things. Or put bus stations when we should have tram stations, when we should have uh, truck stations. Yeah, I know, always a disaster. There we go, go around there and back again. Tram, castle point. We'll probably only have one tram in each city. If the buses were not spaced out in cities, they should curtail them. Yeah, it would be good, wouldn't it? But I, I have no idea how you would implement that. Good gracious, we've got a few trams, haven't we? It's going to be one from the bottom, because they can go fast. Oh, that can go fast. 37 miles an hour. That can only do 19. And can't carry as many. So the, the DL3000 wit is out. I mean, that it's going to be the T1, isn't it? Five of them. That'll do. When are you going to have the tram? Am I going to have the tram going to the ferry? Uh, no. It appears not. <laughs> I wish you would have uh, suggested that earlier, because I could have put the tram down there. No, the tram does not go to the ferry. It would appear. Right, we're going to have another ten buses. Because things are getting a little bit congested in town, aren't they? Oh, tram going to the ferry. Yeah, you've, you've twisted my arm there. That is that is a good thing. Good suggestion. I like that. Right, we're going to upgrade you down there. And what we are going to do as well is... Where are our trams? Yeah, lovely. Fourth Street, yeah. We're going to take that out. Fourth Street... Yet to Chow Street, Castle Point. Lovely. That's good. That's uh, that's all looking good there. Brilliant. Oh, ferry's here. Have you got anybody on? 22 passengers. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So we can just have that kind of pootling up and down. I mean, that is slicing through the sand again. Should really say you can't put a dock there. If we'd have wanted to do it better, we'd... Uh... Oh, yeah, it's all... Sandy beaches. These beaches and this blue water is making me want to go on holiday. Uh, I would like to see more than one tram connected uh, to one tram line that looks like different trams on one train line. So more than one trams in more than one trams, more than one tram line uh, in a town. Is that what you're saying, Simon O'Dwyer? Hello, hello, welcome, uh, welcome to our lovely live stream. What's your favourite bus? B7 hourly, and sadly uh, that we don't have them in Transport Fever yet. Winky face. Do I know something you don't know? Maybe I do. But that's all I'm going to say. Uh, you make a vote on YouTube on the lives for this series. You can watch lives after they've finished, of course. And if I didn't skip that QD training on Skep Stepford County Railway, I couldn't watch. Oh, no, don't skip the training. Whatever you do, it takes long enough to get there, doesn't it? Don't skip the training. Please, can you do episode 25 of City Bus Manager's live stream? Uh, I won't have time, to be honest with you, with my work schedule over the next few days. Uh, I would absolutely love to. I'd love to live stream every night, but sadly, uh, work does get in the way of that. It's annoying, isn't it, having to go to work? You missed a tram stop. Oh, what have I done? Ah, you mean this one. Yep. There's no need for it, because it's not looping round anymore, so we'll delete that. Have we got everything else? Fourth, eight. Yep, 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 yep. That's all brilliant. So we need a train. Uh, I don't think we can buy a train for £2 million. And we have no money. What have we got? We've got the Russian standard. We've got... Oh, that's adorable. You can do 50 mile an hour. What can you carry? Uh, what What is this train? Is it... Uh, oh, so it's American. So if it's American, it needs an American carriage. I mean, we, we could have a train with one carriage on. What else have we got? Have we got something cheaper, maybe? You're not cheaper? I think it is. Oh, that's, that's the cheapest. 
we could have that. Just, uh, yeah, tell you what we'll do. We'll have that. It's horrendous, and we're not going to keep it. It's busy at the bus tram station. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're, we're definitely not keeping this. They have also redone the vehicles as well, so there's a lot more detail on the vehicles than what they used to be. Look at that, it's pathetic. But it gets a bit of demand going, doesn't it? I mean, how fast can it go? 62 miles an hour, so it's a fairly fast little, uh, little train. Off the back. It's pathetic. Oh dear. Like a little bus, but again, is it a rail car? Is that what this is called? Come on, train. Off you go. Silverdale demands tools and construction material. Well, we could bring some construction material down from here, couldn't we? Because uh, the nearest stone. Oh, we've got stone here as well, though. We could bring that down. It's not connected to the road. That's useful, isn't it? How are these chaps doing? Have we, uh... So there's no bricks coming in. Have any of them got bricks on? Nine? Is this the first vehicle? Where, where's the first one? The first one's down here with plenty of bricks on. That's good. Yeah, we, we really could do with doing that quicker, couldn't we? It doesn't seem like we're going to be able to. I don't know. Have we got anything else that we can be producing while we're around here? Uh, we could also do with connecting. So that doesn't cover a lot of Silverdale, does it? The trams are good. The buses are good. Let's have a look at what our lines are making. Okay, so the food line is making, the bricks line isn't, but it hasn't delivered anything yet. The only things that are losing is the ferry, but that's not really made a lot of deliveries. Um, the Silverdale Castle Point, that's not making yet. The tram isn't making, but it will. So yeah, I don't think we need to panic just yet. Uh, if you do have time, can you do a City Bus Manager live stream on a city you've never been to in real life? Uh, yeah, I think we could do that, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't think it'll be soon, because we're working on the Halifax series, but the next time we start a new city off when it's fictional, I think we'll probably look at that. I don't know if we'll do a random live stream on City Bus Manager in the future. Maybe we will. It'd be quite good fun. But, uh, but yeah, why, why is there nobody, not a single person, has come to take the train? Maybe these are coming. Where are you going? Oh, you are going on the train. Excellent. Our first passenger. He's probably going to miss it if they don't get a wriggle on. Where are you going? The train as well? Okay, one passenger. I mean, the train can carry, what, 20 people? So we don't really need a bus going between the two, do we? Because uh, if we do have a bus going between the two, like, train station to city, we might struggle for capacity. Are you, uh, what are we doing here? Sixty-two miles an hour. We just bought the DLC. I guess if you don't like it, you can always refund it, can't you? I reckon you can fit more than twenty passengers on this train. It's a nippy little thing, isn't it? Going for it. Absolutely going for it. I, I do sort of want proper trains. I hope they had some Japanese trains, it would be nice. Well, they do have the bullet train on this. Uh, and I think they have other Shinkansen uh, trains. I don't know if it's a Chinese EMU. I don't really know much about Asian trains, to be honest with you. But it's very, very, very pointy, like a bullet train. Um, so that there are some like exciting... Exciting things. Yeah, I've just seen what you said, Imran. Uh, what on earth is the object? It's not allowed to be called a train. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd... I'd yeah. <laughs> Oh, dear me. It's, uh, it's a rail car. We'll call it a rail car. Or a rail bus. Look at that speed. It comes bombing into the station. That's awesome. 
I think what I am going to do is, uh, while we're here, oh, not load, didn't want to load that. We're going to save this as Boundless Bay. There we go. And what we are going to do, there we go, we'll let that save. There we go. And we're just going to nip to the menu because there's one feature that I forgot to, uh, right, hang on, load game, Boundless Bay. We are going to have a mod. I said we weren't going to have a mod, but we're going to have the realistic train brake mod. Uh, because I want the trains to break realistically. There you go. <laughs> it's an Asian 153. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Logan, my B10 BLE, is, uh, it still needs some repairs. I kept saying it's going away, but uh, what with the snow and other things... Uh, there we go, we're back. Uh, what with the snow and other things, it's uh, it's not been able to be collected by the people that were going to collect it. So, uh, yeah, it's currently not doing anything. It's sat there looking rather sad and feeling rather sorry for itself. Which is a shame, really, isn't it? Have these trams got anyone on? You can carry 23 people, for goodness sake. Why have you not got people on? The buses are all full. But, uh, yeah, the buses are all full, the trams aren't. I bet everyone's waiting for the buses as well. You see, there's a lot of passengers waiting there. Oh, my God. 47 people. And I bet 7th Street's down there, isn't it? We could do with, like, a bendy bus. I know there wasn't bendy buses in 1933, but we really could do with one right now. I'm going to put the fast forward on. Come in to check how it's going. Well, it's great to have you with us, Will. Is the DLC even active? Maybe you have to activate it as a mod. Yes, it is um, it is active. It was in the mods section. Uh, so, yeah, it, it is here. I don't know if maybe the vehicles... Are the vehicles coming later? I, I really don't know. Um, have we got, like, any sort of extra bus? Because it was definitely... The, the deluxe DLC was in there. So, uh, yeah, I, I really don't know with that one. Maybe the code that, uh, that Delara sent hasn't actually got the vehicles in, but I can't see why it wouldn't have the vehicles in. It seems seems very odd, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, I'll have to do some digging with that one. But it's got the new maps, so uh, yeah. <laughs> 27 passengers, so the train's going to be full. That's quite a long platform. Gad's legs would get tired watching the train off that platform. 20 passengers. Off we go again. Nope, no, no carriages needed. I think you could probably couple more than one to, uh, you know, you could couple more than one. Repay a bit of loan. Uh, the B7 hourly is also really, really good. Well, the B7 hourly is good, the B10 isn't. Ooh, a Pioneer Zephyr. We might need the Pioneer Zephyr, because I think that can carry more passengers. I don't know quite how fast it can go. Let's have a look. It's right down the bottom, isn't it? Uh, right, it can carry 52 and do 110. So I think we're going to have to try save up for the Pioneer Zephyr. How's the uh, how's the old... Is, is this working? We've got them on the way back, so it must have made some money. 100 grand. This might be too far for lorries. It just might be. Maybe they, they sort of... Maybe that would be better. To have boats. Oh, I don't know. But the boats would take a long time to get there. Hmm. Need another shadow card. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> oh, no. Not getting the no cost. That's cheating, Nathan. Can't have the no costs mod on. Got to play properly. Now, what's happening here? Why are all the buses doing U-turns? I bet they've... Yeah, for some reason... It really annoys me it, that it does this. It, um, for some reason... Right, hang on. So you need to be... So you need to be on Terminal 1. For some reason, it makes them all flip round like that. It puts them both on one bus stop. I've no idea why it does that. Does anybody else's transport fever do that?
What are we doing? Oh, are you turning round? Oh no, you're turning left. Why does the bus go down? Oh, okay, yeah, I suppose the bus does go down there, doesn't it? God, there's a heck of a lot of traffic round here, isn't there? It's funny, because when that bus is at that bus stop, they can't turn across. Anything to get rid of the dog box rip-off, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's that early days of transport fever where you can't really do a lot, can you? I mean, if we got any, like, oil refinery we have... Ooh, now that could work. Right, tell you what we are going to do. Just had a brainwave. Let's have 30. Just have one. One platform. So we can get some fuel delivered as well. Because Silverdale and Castle Point all need fuel. So that's that's brilliant. We can do that. So you're going to come down from there to here. And we're just going to have one. Because it'll be... Uh, there, there we go. Yep, yeah, flat. And then it can come all the way back past here to the fuel place where we shall have... Uh... Yeah, because Hastings needs fuel as well. So we'll pop you in there. Look at that. Brilliant. Oh, we've unlocked the DC-3. That's good. And the Zurich. Oh, lovely. We could have another ferry now that can go faster. Do we want to spend all that money at the moment? Hmm, don't know. Ah, we'll see. Right, upgrade you. That'd be brilliant. Right, can we have a bigger road there, please? Oh, wow, and another 442. Oh, we're unlocking loads. This is what happens when you use uh, lots of different vehicles from lots of different, uh, lots of different countries. Right. So, we're going to go from there... Yeah, Silverdale branch to there. Now, I am acutely aware as well that uh, we could use that to drop off in Silverdale. But if we ca if we stop carrying these past, we want this to basically focus on oil, don't we? Uh, hang on, truck. What would we call it? Castle Point Oil. Connect it, your oil is not connected. Oh, is it not connected to the... It is connected to the doodah. Is, is it down here it's not connected? That one's connected. That one's connected. They're all connected. Don't panic, Peter. Don't panic. Everything is connected. Probably. Um, <laughs> this is where they're not connected and it's a disaster. Right, so we need new trucks, new lorries. These with fuel, fuel, fuel and whatnot. Right, how many can we have? Eight? Nope. Seven. Seven will have to do then. Truck, Castle Point Oil, off you go. So yeah, we don't want them carrying fuel, because then it'll be too full to pick up oil here, and the whole thing will fall apart. So we need a special fuel line for that very purpose. Now, what I am hoping is that... Ah, so that's just bread. What does the seven mean? Oh, this is how much is going where. Right, okay. I get you, I think. What country theme am I going to be doing? I think I'm just going to be using a bit of everything, to be honest with you, uh, Spaghetti Raver. Yep, just using a bit of everything and seeing how it goes. We're not having so much theme. I'm just using all the vehicle sets, and we're just using what we like, to be honest with you. Oh dear, there we go. It's quite difficult to talk for hours on end. God, my god, we've been playing an hour already. Where does the time go? That is what I'd like to know. It's quite difficult starting out, because, you know, when you do start out, there's not a lot happening. Right, what we might need to do is upgrade some of our vehicles then, because these are slowing us down. Because these can do 30... 37, is it? Yeah, 37. Look at that. It's racing along. How's that going to be with the... Uh, right, we'll move you over there. Come on, keep producing oil. We want it all full. All of the vehicles full. Can we use Leyland Olympians? Uh, I don't know, to be honest with you, Alex. If the Leyland Olympian is included in the game, I shall absolutely use it. But this is just 
vanilla. So uh, we've got no mods at all on this, apart from the realistic train braking mod. For obvious reasons, we want it to look vaguely, uh, vaguely realistic. There we go. Right, we've got seven vehicles on here, so let's have another three. Because uh, plenty of crude oil to be taken there. In fact, we're going to need more than three, aren't we? Well, uh, can we have 15? No, is the answer to your question. Still can't have. We can have 12, that's alright. We can have 14. We have 15 now. No, we can. You just wanted to go about it in a funny way. When are you going to place airports in the America series? I don't know to tell you the truth. Um, airports will have to have a look. When I unlock some sort of decent planes, because the problem is, is when you when you have planes, uh, then you tend to find. Oh, look at that PRR class GG1. Brilliant. Yeah, when you have planes, they um, they, they generate so much demand. Um, for people to use them, but they're not very big. So you tend to find that planes are a bit difficult, really, because you need thousands of planes all on one line, and that's just not particularly realistic, is it? Um, right, let's have a look. So Castle Point does need fuel. Have we got lots of fuel that Castle Point needs? We do. Look at that. Right, you can take from there. So Hastings says it needs fuel. So we'll send it there. I mean, it's got like five buildings that need fuel. We'll send it. It's fine. And, of course, the lovely Silverdale down here needs uh, fuel as well. Fuel and bricks. There we go. We'll have you there. So what we'll do is we'll have another special line. Coming from Nope, that's the food place. Lovely. Castle Point Transfer. To Silverdale. Truck. Silverdale. Fuel. And we'll just go with five vehicles. I don't think we need five vehicles for Castle Point, do we? Uh, we might do, you just never know. So, truck. Castle Point. Fuel. And then we'll have another. So we've got plenty of things going from here, haven't we? Truck Hastings Fuel. Brilliant. So, if we go up to our depot. Oh, so we've got the Opal Blitz as well. Oh, we were using that, weren't we? So you need fuel. Five on the uh, on the Hastings. Not Hastings, we don't need that, do we? Uh, oh, I don't know, do we? Well, Silverdale is going to need them, isn't it? I deleted the airports on my only servers, they're too demanding. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I find I struggle. Do you have any subway trains? Not at this moment in time, no, unfortunately. It would be great to have them, wouldn't it? But I can't see where we'd use them on this map. Uh, right, Hastings Fuel can have three lorries on. And then, what else have we got? We've got uh, another... We have another two for uh, Castle Point. Castle Point fuel. There we go. And then what we will do as well, because I reckon we're going to make quite a bit here, pop those on the back, so that uh, if we do get a lot of production, it's not going to uh, it's not going to all disappear. Because obviously, if you've got the exclamation mark, then you lose it. Like look there, 165. That's going up and up and up. That's ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five. You can see why, I mean, I was expecting it to produce this fast. So you can understand why I was a bit confused why the grain is not producing as fast as this. Bit weird, isn't it? Come on, transport loads. We're playing transport fever, let's get it transported. I really could do with more loan. That would help. How's the train doing? Can't click it. Oh, he's full. Oh, he is full. Heck. Right, okay. Um, is he making money? Yep, right. 
We haven't got enough money to make another one. I'm going to say just make another one and it'll be fine. Just to, you know, potter up and down. What have we got going? Castle Point Fuel. Yeah, I have a feeling we'll need more on the old Castle Points. Same as Silverdale. We need more on that as well. Are we, uh, are you going, you're going to fill up with that? Oh, you can carry 14 though, so that's good. Silverdale Fuel, again. Let's have you fully laden, because uh, will there be a highway? We could actually make some sort of highway, couldn't we? I mean, this, we're going to struggle. In fact, do you know what? These bricks trucks, you can only do 25. Let's get you all upgraded. How much is this going to cost, though? Uh, right, that needs stone and bricks, so it's going to cost 3 million. But we can do it. We can absolutely do it. Yeah, three million. See, I'd like to use that stone there because they can carry more, can't they? But uh, obviously then it won't be able to bring the bricks on the way back. Joey 404, your farm won't appear to make much money as the oil well, as the farms only produce 200 the oil. Oh, do the oil wells produce 400? Oh, I thought they I thought they produced the same. I thought they all produced 200. That might be me that's, uh, that's going insane there. Corset can, it can produce 400. Has that always been the case, or has that happened recently? Absolutely, Imran. After the stream's gonna make a new save. Yep, yeah, Transport Fever's one of them, isn't it, where you cannot play it for ages. And then as soon as you see someone else playing it, think, I need to play that. Yep, need to play that. We need to get down to Masterton, don't we? Because this, with the river, this is a really nice looking city. How to move the depot station airport harbour. Oh, do you want a bit of everything, Nathan? Shall we have a bit of everything? We can do, can't we? We're unlocking so many trains, and we literally can't use any of them. A couple of new lorries. Let's have a look. I mean, the money is coming in quicker now, isn't it? It's definitely coming in quicker than it was doing. How are we doing in terms of food production? Uh, right, you don't need food, so there's no point asking you, really, is there? You're not picking a lot. You're not producing a lot, sorry. But you need more, so ideally, I mean, that's producing as much. So we need another farm, don't we? We've got another farm there. That is quite a distance. Got another one down here? No. Right, well, it's going to be this farm. We're going to have to make another farm, everybody. Um, but... Uh, right. Weirdly enough, you're happy to be upgraded, unlike your uh, your colleague down the way. Ah, this is the too much slope place. Excellent. Right. Okay. Well, we'll have a bit of that. Lovely. And what we'll do is we'll take this road off. Ah, right. You're happy now. Let's see how that tickles you. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's steep, isn't it? But what? We'll take that off. That's a lot better. Stream for 70 minutes. I know that's ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, where am I going to place my headquarters? I think that we're going to place them down in Masterton, to be honest with you. Shall we place them alongside the river? Because we are making a bit more money now, aren't we? We've got five million in the bank. How did that happen? Headquarters. Build. There we go. Right, what are we doing with them? So the house goes at the back. We'll have the headquarters by the river. That's that's looking awesome. I mean, it looks a little bit out of place at the moment. Being a, a terrible run-down little house with a, a watering trough for horses. I mean, even in the 1930s, surely we'd have a, a concrete building of sorts, but, uh, but never mind. Right, so hang on. That's placed. It's beautiful, isn't it? So we need uh, a, a doodah. There we go. We'll pop you on. Put you on there. Yep. And then we'll have you going down there through Castle Point to drop off food at Castle Point West. And you will be truck Castle Point Brain 2. And we'll have to rename you, of course. 
Castle Point Grain 1. Lovely. Now, uh, what have we got? Castle Point Grain 1 and 2. It's put you both on the same stand. That's brilliant. How many do we need? I mean, this is the residential zone, isn't it? So the trucks are going to be going through the residential zone, and they're not going to like that. Because they moan about flipping everything, don't they? Um, right, okay. So what we'll do is we'll build another road off here that bends round, that can follow the railway, actually. That's going to look good, isn't it? We'll branch off here a little bit. Now, you're not going to let me put anything there, are you? So we'll, we'll come round the back. That's in the way. That's really irritating. Nope, 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 nope. I'll have to bring that. Problem is, is it, it puts the landscape back, but it doesn't put the trees back, does it? There we go. Lovely. So we can avoid going through town now with our lorries. Is it going to avoid it? Yes, it is. Look at that. Right, what trucks do we need? You're good. But you carry grain, and you look awesome, so you are going to be what we're using. Ten lorries, Castle Point Grain 2. And then what we're going to do as well, is these little ones, we can upgrade you. Fifteen vehicles, right, get rid of five here. And, uh, yeah, get rid of five of you, and replace you with them. So you can go a little bit quicker as well. Oh, thank you very much. So that's all looking good, and they look absolutely brilliant with the grain in the back. I love using the ones where you can see the cargo. Just pulled my PC wire out of the wall and had to turn it back on again. Oh, I thought you'd disappeared, Imran. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing that. I don't imagine your computer would be too happy. What's my favourite type of public transport? Um. I don't know, to be honest with you, uh, Muzzamil. I think I, I do like the bus. I do like the bus. Um, we probably don't need this many lorries either, do we? Look at this. What's the, what's happening here? This is the Silverdale food. So we need to upgrade you as well, because you're holding everybody up. There we go. Is there anyone else we're missing now? Anybody else? Any other slow coaches? These buses are brilliant. Have we got faster buses? Uh, right, hang on. What have we got? These are lorries that we're looking at. You can do 31. 31 and 10. Right, so it's between the Saura and the Fuso B46. Which are we having? Somebody shout up. No sad blue face. Uh, yes, we have four pets, because you know, you can never have too many. One dog, three birds. So it's, uh, you never get a quiet moment in our house. Do you know the bus game? Uh, as in the, the game called The Bus. Uh, can I play it on iPad? Unfortunately not. I think The Bus is only available on PC. I don't know if they plan to bring it to console. Uh, if you are on about OMSI, then... Uh, oh, right, there you go. Someone said the Fuso, so we're going to use the Fuso. Peter said the Fuso. There you go. We've called it. They're all nice and upgraded. They can carry more, and they can go faster. So that's good. That's excellent. You need upgrading because you're too slow. Yep, where are we now? Yep, you can be... Oh, what have we got here? That's funky. We'll have a different truck so they're not all the same. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Oh, look at that. That is lovely. Yeah, we don't want them all to be the same, do we? That looks like a sort of Willis Jeep at the front. Almost. Okay, it looks nothing like a Willis Jeep. What other transport trains do we have that can go back and forth? We have the money for it. We do have the money for it. That is an excellent point. Uh, well, we don't have the money for it, but uh, we, we will do when I stop spending it. What we will do while we're here is have a couple of tram lines around uh, here just to get everyone to the station at Silverdale. Right, we'll take you off there. We'll go down here. Because that'll get everybody in the catchment area. There we go. Up here again. It's a bit of a funny sort of shape, isn't it? Looks like a house with a really wonky roof. 
There we go. Pop you on there. Um, right, where can we pop another one? Pop you there. Quite close, but it doesn't matter really, does it? Pop you there. You can go around there. And you can go there. Yeah. So we will have uh, a... And now this is going to ruin the train. I mean, the train was hideous, wasn't it? But this is going to ruin the train. Because the amount of passengers this is going to demand... Or generate, sorry, at the train station. Tram. Li Yoon. Clock. Not Li Yoon. It's not. That's the street. Uh, Silverdale. Clockwise. And then we will have the, uh, the Silverdale anti-clockwise. Yeah, sorry, it'd be great if uh, if OMSI was on different platforms, wouldn't it? Or indeed if an OMSI 3 came along, but unfortunately I, I really cannot see that happening. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Right, okie dokie. So, ooh, what trams are we having? Well, you're the fastest and the highest capacity. So we'll have eight of you. We'll have four going clockwise. Ooh, hang on. Anti-clockwise and clockwise. There we go. Off you go, trams. I never like these trams, although they do seem so much better since the update. Look, the, the quality of them. Are they actually stuck together now? No, they're not. <laughs> That's why I never like these trams. They look like they're stuck together when they're going in a straight line, but when they turn corners, you can totally tell they're not together. Um, Double-decker for your next route? Absolutely, we'll have to try, although the best buses at the moment, and the buses that can carry the most people, appear... To be uh, to be single deckers, weirdly enough. When you're in the Netherlands, one of the most nicest things is you can go 120 kilometers an hour after 7 p.m. Oh right, okay, I did not know that. Uh, yes, Omsi 3 is in development as Lotus Simulator, but I just don't know how good it's going to be. It's been out for so long and it's so expensive, and I know that they say it's still early access, but I'm just not sold on it. I, I just don't think compared to Omsi, it's very good. I'd love it to be brilliant. I really, really would love it to be brilliant, but it's just not. Um, I mean, I've not played it in a good while now. Um, it might be a lot better. They might have improved it, but uh, yeah, at this moment in time, my opinion is uh, is that Lotus just isn't OMSI. But who knows? Maybe down the line, it will change, and that would be awesome. We need more buses on this line, don't we? Plenty there. How are the buses doing? 10 out of 10. Okay. 10 out of 10. Right, well, we need more then, don't we? If they're full going both ways. Not enough money. Of course you don't. <laughs> Lotus with a sicky face. I'm saying nothing, Imran. Well, I say I'm saying nothing. I've already said what I think. Since when was there an OMSI 3? Yeah, there's not. It's it's Lotus Simulator. It's available on the Steam, uh, Steam store. It's about 40 quid, isn't it, off the top of my head? Is it 30, 40? It's quite expensive for a game that says it's early access. And it's absolutely chock full of bugs. More bugs than I'm a celebrity get me out of here. I tell you that now. Good lord. Right. We're doing good over here on the farm. Still only produces 200. But there's plenty, plenty going on. And they're all, uh, ooh, new tram. Looks vaguely American, doesn't it? Ah, yeah, when you buy more ALX 400s, we could register them as uh, as the Potteries ones, couldn't we? Yeah. I hadn't thought about doing Potteries ones. My go-to is just always West Yorkshire. For obvious reasons. Uh, ooh, plenty of stone there, look. How's this working? Have we, uh, we've, we have got plenty of stone, and we produce 400. So let's have a look and see if we can get more vehicles on that. 24. Okay, that's all we can afford. How much do these things cost? There we go, 25. Do they all come from down here? I can't remember what depot they all come out of. Did I build a depot down at this end? Yes, I did. Ah, that's where they've come from. Look, they're all in a little line there. How are there so many bricks waiting? I don't understand that, because surely when they drop off with the stone, they should pick up the bricks again. Seems a bit strange, but there we go. Can't click on this vehicle. <laughs> I 
Ah, right, I get what you mean, JetBlue Pilot. So you're saying, how many trams can I put on the same line that all look different? So like a, a Blackpool sort of a thing. I get what you mean. Well, you can sort of put as many as you want, to be honest with you, but uh, we're using the high-density ones because there's not many people travelling <laughs> in, uh, in answer to that, for goodness sake. I always tend to use the same vehicles on the same line, and the reason I say that is um, because then they all stay equally apart. If you use a really slow tram and a really fast tram, the fast tram will just catch the slow tram and, uh, and just follow it round. And, and then that's not profitable at all. Uh, Monty's Transport and more. I do have trains in World 3. In fact, I have done a... Uh, I've done a, a, a video on trains in World 3 not too long ago. Sorry I'm late. What did I, men uh, what did I miss? Don't worry about it, David. Um, we have started from scratch on this absolutely beautiful map. Um, it's like a, a bay, isn't it? That's, that's the name. Um... And, uh, yeah, we've got a, a company running, we've got a couple of grand in the bank, a couple of million even in the bank, and things are looking good. There's so many. The train can carry 20, and there's 120 waiting. It's not great, is it? Let's see if we can upgrade it. So we're going to get rid of that, obviously, because it's hideous. Uh, you're all electric, that's no good. You can do 50, right? You cost too much, so you're nice and cheap. But you are American, which means we would need to use the streamlined coach. But we could afford three of you. And the capacity, we could no longer afford three of you. We've just lost the money. There we go. We can afford three of you. Look at that. It's not ideal, but it's what we can afford. It doesn't go quite as quick as the old train. It's just adorable, isn't it? Absolutely adorable. Doesn't look right carrying those coaches or pulling those coaches, does it? Yeah, I agree with you there, uh, Imram. Lotus is just not OMSI quality. It's a bit like Train Simulator 3 to train, to, uh, to train Simulator. But even then, I don't think Lotus looks particularly that much better than OMSI. Um, so, yeah, I absolutely agree there. And, uh, oh, Gamer Players, first stream. Love watching your OMSI 2 vids, especially the Trent Barton ones. Thank you. The, uh, the OMSI videos are brilliant in terms of I love playing OMSI. So I love doing OMSI videos. And, uh, yeah, I'm really glad you enjoy them. Right, we need more trucks here, don't we, to make more. Five. Can we afford five? Yes, we can. This is going to look awesome, isn't it? Hang on. Where, where is he? I wish the tunnel had stayed dark. When you zoom out like that, it, I don't know, it seems to have... And we can't go through the tunnel, can we? Where's our train? Let's speed it up. Impatient. Where on earth is it? Is it bothering to... Where's the train gone? Oh, it's there. Oh, it's slow. <laughs> Chronically slow. Ah, oh dear. Yeah, it does look a little bit like a Class 08, doesn't it? It's, a, uh, it's definitely not suited for uh, high-speed running. But again, when it's all you can afford, it moves more people, so hopefully should bring in more, uh, more revenue. There we go. Look at that. It's effectively, because we're on, what's this? Four times speed, so it's effectively doing 200 miles an hour now, isn't it? Plenty of passengers waiting. So this is going to be Castle Point. 268,000. Lovely. Oh, it's making a bit of money. And then this can be uh, Castle Point Parkway. Yeah? Castle Point Parkway. And that can just be Castle Point. That can be our main station. I would like to make some sort of line down there. I, I really don't think we're going to get a chance to do it this time, which is really infuriating, isn't it? Let's have another five vehicles, because, you know, we can afford it, and there's so much stone waiting there, it's unbelievable. You need more, because you're not coping. That's weird. One farm's coping fine. 
and the other one just isn't. 18 vehicles. Is that all we can afford? It would appear so. Never mind. Lots of passengers waiting. Oh, configure. No, we don't want to do that. Plenty waiting for the train. Uh, it seems that maybe uh, they've... Uh, yeah, plenty waiting for the train. The bus seems to have sort of died a death, doesn't it? Are the buses still taking? Yeah, they're, they're still full. So we'll leave the buses. The trams are sort of a bit of a waste of time. Why did you get rid of the red train when you could have left it on there and made this train the second one? Uh, yeah, that's a very good point. I didn't really like the red train, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not a fan of the red train. I thought it was a bit hideous. It was just to sort of tide us over. So we'll, we'll leave that. It's definitely not the best, but it'll do for now. The trams are sort of a, last, uh, a loss leader, aren't they? They're never going to make us money. Oh, Peter, it's a lovely live stream, but unfortunately I have to go have a nice evening. Thanks for joining us, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one, hopefully. Have a great evening, Peter. It's slightly concerning how long I would have spent watching your OMSI videos. Do you know what? I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled that you watch the OMSI videos. I always say, if you keep watching them, I'll keep making them. There you go. Right, Castle Point Fuel. We need more trucks on there, evidently. How about just four? We'll double it. Because there's a lot going to Castle Point. And obviously the more that we deliver, the more it's going to expand. So, you know, it's worth doing. I really think that would just be so much better on a train. It really would be. I don't know. I really don't know. See, I don't, I don't think we're going to get a train over to Hastings for quite a while. Oh, something's just upgraded. The factory just upgraded. Oh, not that one. One of them has. Not that one. That's uh, not going to upgrade. Did the farms used to upgrade? I mean, that's not going to upgrade, is it? Because I'm sure I've just heard the upgrade noise of, in noise of industry. No. Maybe I imagined it. No, oh, 180 passengers. Yeah, that's that's really not good. Can you call... Ah, right, yeah. So instead of Parkway, because you can't actually park there, uh, we'll change that to Castle Point Harbour. I like that. Or Castle Point Ferry Port? Hmm, maybe. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to replace this, possibly, because that can do 20. There we go. We'll replace it with that, and it can carry more people as well. Ah, oh, lovely. If we'd have just waited a bit longer, then... Uh, and you can't see that that's cutting into the sand either. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep the... Uh, is it the Schaffhausen? No, it's the Zurich, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you can get this game on Steam. It's called Transport Fever 2. And I honestly, off the top of my head, it's that long since I bought it, I can't remember uh, how much it cost. Um, yeah, I bought it the day it came out. I was so excited uh, when this game came out. Uh, Alfie Newman, can you do another video on Taurus Bus Sim or Firm Bus? Uh, I haven't got any plans to do anything on that just yet. Um, just because it's all fairly samey and I feel like we've kind of been there, done that. Um... Yeah, it, it's all just a bit samey, but if they do start bringing new DLC out for it, then absolutely. It does seem that they've not uh, finished developing for it, because they've just brought it out for console, hasn't, haven't they? Um, so yeah, yeah. if they do start doing more things, we'll absolutely carry on. Uh, Billy Fry, good evening. David, on your main series, your American series, sorry, you need to check on the Dallas to Miami train. There's only one train on the route. I will absolutely have to check on that. If it's a busy route, we need more than one train. Um, sponsored stream? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> sponsored by the people at Transport Fever 2. Uh, right, yeah, 217. I told you that this would ruin the uh, the train. It's a good job we put this on, wasn't it? We could do with another. How much are you going to cost? More money than we have. Uh, not good. 
could we maybe just buy another one if we if we nip down here we could buy another one with less carriages so we could have one with one carriage there we go oh it's got a little car horn that is equally as pathetic <laughs> But it keeps passenger numbers down. MSCRE, welcome to our stream this evening. It's great to have you with us. We need to add more coaches onto that. There we go. Hopefully we'll get three on eventually. Look at that, that's ridiculous. 115 for Silverdale. Plenty of passengers. I mean, that's good because the train is profitable. But when your trains can only carry 36 people, that is a problem. But they are nippy little things, aren't they? 3350, but it's on sale at 1675, according to Imran. So, absolutely, if you're roaming an R in, I didn't realise the main game was on sale. Uh, so, yeah, absolutely, get it, get it, get it. It's brilliant. Oh, hang on, we've got new planes, new, uh, new buses. What are the buses doing? Can they go fairly fast? So you can do 31. Ooh, that might be good. You can carry 14. You can carry 10. And still only do 31, but that's absolutely much better. Right, let's keep it forward. Uh, fast forward, even. I can't believe we've been playing for 12 in-game years already. That's nuts. Right, there we go. Look at that. That's like almost like a Grand Theft Auto style bus. It's very similar to... Um, did anyone ever play Driver 3? Because they have these American style buses and that. I imagine this is an American one, is it? Of course, it must be American. It's got that sort of rear end like an American bus. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, if you buy any more B9s, can you register them as BD11s and BJ12s? Yeah, they were uh, they were brand new to Leeds, weren't they, some of them? Perhaps this bus isn't that busy anymore. Is it still busy going over? Ten passengers. One. That's no good. Do you cover there? We might need another bus stop for these people here, because I didn't realise that if you look, we have actually expanded the city. Pop a bus stop there. And we'll add that onto the line. So four. Yep. And then... There we go. Hang on, what have I done? Second street. Eleven. There we go. That's better. Just means that the people that live here... Oh, don't build a house there. That's such a stupid place to build a house. I suppose if you're a train spot, you've got a good view. But I bet you any money. Oh, it's a, it's a cafe. Right, you can sit outside. I mean, that's sort of a bit of a hazard, isn't it? No wall there? Just fall onto the tracks or... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you think you'll unlock the HST this stream? I wouldn't have thought so, because it's 1942. I don't think I'll be playing that long, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, Will. Oh, Joe Holland, hello. Welcome to the stream. Hello, it's great to see you here. Just in the middle of some transport fever. Look at that. 70 passengers on board. They're all fairly chilled out, aren't they? Look at her there. She's clearly a philosopher. Contemplating her existence on this planet. Whilst floating along on a, uh, on a Zurich. Wonderful. You made me want to get OMSI 2, however I decided not to, as you have to buy the original OMSI 2 and it's American. You don't like American buses? Uh, well, it's absolutely not American in the slightest. OMSI is German. The German buses on there, it's set in Berlin. Uh, they have the yellow Berlin double-deckers, so there's nothing American about it, so don't worry about that. Um, but yes, you do have to buy the original OMSI, but it is German buses. So uh, yeah, don't worry about American buses if you don't like them. Have you signalled the line? Uh, yes, we've put a few in. Just a couple. Did I put... That's train two. Oh, I did put three carriages on. 
Oh, look at that, they're gonna cross. And they're all full. Brilliant. I mean, they're gonna, these are never gonna make us millions, are they? Um, but you know, they're, they're gonna, they transport passengers up and down, don't they? And uh, I think I've just killed off the bus lines, to be honest with you, with that train, but never mind. How many have we got waiting up here? Still plenty of people. And obviously we've got bigger buses as well. What we will do, just to make sure the buses keep generating demand, is we're going to have a... You can go up there, around there. Yep. Is that alright there? No. Nope. We're going to go all the way around there. In fact, what have I done? You need an, a clockwise and an anti-clockwise if you're having a little town runner, don't you? What have I done with the bus stop? Oh, I, I, yeah, I didn't put one down in the end, did I? Right, we need a depot. Let's put the depot down here. Right, pop the depot there. Or the bus station. Yes, but, but get you in there. And you can be the bus Hastings anti clockwise. Oh, I didn't put the. Uh, there we go. So that'll obviously bring plenty of passengers to the, uh, the the bus station. So that should generate the uh, the more demand. Joe Bob boats. Uh, Joe Bob boats. Yeah, frightening. Um. When could more live train sim streams? I know, the the amount of streams I have got to do is absolutely mental, isn't it? It's just finding the time, and that's where I struggle. Every opportunity at the moment that I have to live stream, uh, I I am live streaming. Um, yeah, it's, it's just like I said, just getting that time. Oh, we've got new... Uh, as soon as we've placed that down, we've got new... Or have I stuck a... What have I done here? I've put cargo on, that's not what I wanted not going to work. Try again. I thought it looked different. <laughs> they have also, by the looks of things, updated this so that when you upgrade, you put that down there, the pavement follows around the edge. And that's brilliant, because I was really uh, I was really wound up that it never did that. There we go. Round we go. And we'll do the clockwise now. Lovely. Hastings. Oh, hang on. Nope. Bus. Hastings clockwise. Let's have them out the depot. Another four. And the other. Where's the other one? Hastings clockwise. There we go. We'll just clone it from here. We really do have a lot of these buses going, don't we? Thought you said you'd use double deckers for your next route. I absolutely was going to use double deckers, but if you look, the best double decker can carry 11 and can only do 22 mile an hour. 25 mile an hour with eight. Uh, those are the only two double deckers we have available. And this uh, is a single decker, but it can go faster and carry more people. So, uh, yeah. Oh, Highlander Gamer, are you off? Oh, right. sorry to hear that. I do hope you enjoyed the stream. And uh, yeah, it'll be there if you want to catch up with what we've done afterwards. But yeah, thanks for joining. Plenty of passengers. You see, the passengers for the buses, if we could carry more on the trains, would obviously be higher, wouldn't it? So if we... Where are the trains? Where have they all gone? Oh, there's one there. Can we, like, upgrade them? If we take these off, have we got another diesel loco we could shove on? That could go faster? We don't have a diesel loco. We've got electric ones. See, that's 11 million each. That's just too much. 11 million, 13 million. Okay, maybe we've just gone for the El Cheapo option. See, I can't put that steam engine on the front of them because the European steam engine surely can't carry American carriages. Absolutely look into it, Game of Plays. It's, uh, it's a really, really good game. So I don't want to put too many more carriages on because I'm worried the thing won't move. <laughs> it's not the most powerful loco, is it? 
I mean, at, at this moment in time, it's not very quick. Uh, Billy, it is um, a bit of American, a bit of Asian, and a bit of European all blended together. We've got European trams here. We've got uh, American buses. And we've got uh, American trains, Asian lorries somewhere, I think. Are they... Is that an Asian lorry? No, that's a European one. The Opal Blitz. Uh, look at the traffic between these towns. Loads and loads and loads. Uh, but yeah, we're using all the vehicle sets. Just vanilla, but uh, yeah, all the vehicle sets. Use the Trent Barton livery on the Optair Solo. Um... Uh, now? <laughs> At this precise moment in time? I don't think the Optair Solar was available in 1942, Joshua plays. It's a nice thought, but uh, I'll tell you what we will start doing while we're here. We've got 15 minutes left, and then I'm going to have to go, unfortunately. So what we're going to do, uh, just to give you a little taste for what we'll be doing next time. I have no idea when next time will be, but uh, we're going to... Just have a little bit of, of, a, uh, of a jaunt down the coast, because I want to be able to get this passenger service up and running. Uh, I know two hours has absolutely flown by, hasn't it? Uh, when are you going to use traffic lights? Well, I don't choose to use traffic lights. The traffic lights on this just appear when you use uh, big junctions. So if you're using little junctions, so like two lane roads and two lane roads, like what we're using, uh, the traffic lights won't appear. It's only when you use the four lane roads, or dual carriageways as they're also known, uh, that the traffic lights do appear. So uh, yeah, not up to me unlike Skylines. I'll bring you down there. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry Joshua. Freddy DB, hi, welcome to our stream. You're a little bit late, it's, uh, it's nearly the end, but uh, don't worry, you can catch up. It's the beauty of YouTube, isn't it? Look at that, that is just stunning. I and mean, that is really nice, isn't it? We might have to... Can we smooth this? I really want to smooth it without wrecking it. Oh, we can take that ridge off there. Oh, look at that. That looks brilliant. I mean, there's no trees or anything. There's not a lot of scenery. Uh, right, okay. So we need to... Obviously, we can't get over that, can we? Can we just pop you up like that? We can... I mean, that looks ridiculous. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to uh, to pop that in, because I know how much it'll upset everybody, but I'm not going to pop that one in. That'll do. In fact, normally I'd delete that bit and, uh, you know, just have the smallest bit of bridge that I could. But that doesn't actually look too bad. We'll keep you flat and make our way down. We might actually get there, because we've got plenty of money. This is going to look so good when we've got some trains running down it. See, I know it's a long, like, a long line for the map, but actually, when you think of the amazing big things that we've made on the, like, the cross-continental America map, it's not really that big, is it? I'll have a bridge over there, because I just... I don't want to... It's going to have to be a bridge, isn't it? Ooh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Bring you down there, yeah. But it's quite a steep... Steep drop there. Can we keep you flat? And now you're down there. Perhaps you've come a little bit lower there. Level you out from this bit. That's better. Keep you down by the road. That's quite an abrupt uphill bit, isn't it? But it's fine. Was that with the dogs? A couple of hours in the forest. Keep them happy. Oh, absolutely. It's got to be done. Absolutely got to be done. Right, we'll bring you right past the road there. Can we, can we tie you onto the road there? That's going to look pretty good. Are we... Oh, a bit of tunnel. Need a tunnel there, don't we? That's awesome. It's going to be such a pretty route when it's uh, when it's done. Just flatten you out a little bit so that you can 
you can see. And again, just a bit more around there. Not too much. I quite like that little ridge. Is this game worth it on console? I honestly can't tell you, to be honest with you, um, because... I haven't got it on console. Uh, there might be some people in the uh, in the chat that can fill you in there that can offer you a bit of console related advice, but I honestly I'd love to be able to give you advice on it. It's worth it on PC. It's fantastic on PC, but as for console, I honestly couldn't tell you. So sorry about that. Um but yeah, like I say, there might be people in the chat that can help you with that. We'll have a little bus station in here, three and three. It's a big bus station. Because this is gonna be a big city. I just have that feeling that this is going to be a really big city. Catenary, uh, no, not yet. We'll put it in at some point. I've realised we've done all this, and uh, I have absolutely no idea how we're going to afford a train to run down here. No idea at all. <laughs> Built a massive line and can't afford any trains. Uh, right, 30. Should we go with 40? Will you let me do a 40 crossover now? Yep, you've changed your mind from earlier. No mods in Transport Fever 2 is a big problem. Yeah, it is actually. I mean, I, this is technically a vanilla one. Uh, and when I say technically a vanilla one, what I mean is technically not vanilla in the slightest. Because uh, we are using mods on this. Uh, we're not using any vehicle mods or track mods or station mods. Most of it is vanilla, but we are using the re realistic vehicle braking mod. Uh, for the trains so that they slow down and they don't race into stations and somebody throws an anchor out the window. Just pop a bit of signalling down there. Signal before the tunnels. So yeah, I mean even on a completely vanilla map, we're using mods. So if the console edition allows mods, then yeah, if if you get the same experience. But if it doesn't allow mods, then no, I I really wouldn't bother. Oh it's a good game, sorry. It's unfair to say it's not a good game, because it is. But um, it, it just isn't the same. It's better with mods. This is going to be a good save. Absolutely, Imran. I'm hoping it will be. What we will do, because we've not got long left, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm conscious of time. We'll get some buses running around here in preparation to drum up some demand. There we go. Uh, do you fancy a tram? I think we could tram down here. Bit of a tram, yeah, let's have that. Quite a lot of junctions down there, isn't there? It can run along the front, past the HQ, of course. Have the HQ upgraded? No, nope, it looks terrible. <laughs> it looks absolutely awful. Uh, the tram can come round there. We'll have a, a stop there. A stop outside the HQ, obviously. I mean, that is essential. There we go, we'll have... Should we have the depot up here? Yeah. Yep, lovely. So that will be tram uh, master turn. What trams are we having? What are the good ones? Ooh, let's use... I mean, that one's terrible. It can't go very fast. But uh, we will use the... Uh, we'll use that one. The Pittsburgh, because it looks awesome. I mean, look at this. Look at that. That's brilliant. And it even indicates as well. Lovely. It reminds me of that train. The very first train that we had. It's, uh, yeah, it looks a bit similar, doesn't it? So we'll just pretend that the, the train that we had first, that we got rid of, has uh, been repurposed as a tram. Don't forget the first one to the ferry from the cities that you're adding buses into. Which one? Ferry. What ferry? I'm not with you, Jet, uh, Jet Blue Pilot. I'm sorry. You mean a ferry from here? We could do a ferry from there, but to be honest, I'm probably not going to bother because the beach is too big. And it'd mean we'd have to bulldoze one of these islands. And, uh, yeah. Uh, will you play more open TTD again? I would love to play more open TTD, but to be perfectly honest with you, there's not a lot of interest out there. Um, the videos that I was doing on open TTD were getting fewer and fewer views uh, to the point where it just wasn't worth bothering. Um... I just kind of felt like I was wasting my time a bit. I did want to do um, a save with uh, with lots of people on multiplayer. Um, I, I did want to do that 
we've not sort of made it happen yet, but I would absolutely love to do it. And uh, and yeah, so Open TTD, I still play it. I was playing it earlier today before I came on live stream. But uh, yeah, sadly, there's just not that level of interest from you know the the viewers. They'd rather see something like this. So you know, I'd, I'd, I'll play what people like to watch. I always say, if you watch it, I'll play it. And uh, sadly, Open TTD just wasn't that popular. So uh, yeah, sorry. I know it sounds awful to say, doesn't it? Um, right, let's get that train running down the coast. Silverdale to Castle Point. It will now be the Silverdale to Masterton. And it will go to Castle Point Harbour. Then down to Masterton. And then back to Castle Point Harbour. Look at that. Brilliant. The only problem with that is that the trains really are not cut out for long distance work, are they? Uh, let's have a look. Can we have another? Oh, we can. I honestly didn't think that we would be able to, but uh, yeah, brilliant. Oh, auto save. Yeah, there's been a lot of auto save when you're live streaming, isn't there? I wonder which side he's going to go to, because ideally, we could, we could do with him going the other way. Um, we could ideally. You need to put first one to the ferry. I think what. That's trying to tell you, Joe, that you need to put a first one to the ferry that you can have already established from the city and just put the tram cars in. I'm really not following this. I, am I being fake? <laughs> Which ferry? <laughs> I don't know what ferry uh, that I've put the tram cars in. So the trams are here. There's trams there. There's, there's trams there. I'm I'm not following it. I'm I'm really not following it. Right, that one's gone. We're not going to cab ride that one, Monty, uh, because it's going the wrong way. But we shall see when the next one's due through. He's there now. Right, so yeah, he's going to drop off all his passengers, isn't he? And run completely empty all the way down there. Lovely. The horn is very, uh, it sort of sounds like the horn of a BW Passat, doesn't it? Shall we, uh, we'll have a bit of double speed on because we're never going to get there otherwise. We can only do 50 mile an hour. So leaving Castle Point, I think this is brilliant. I love the sort of sunk nature of it. I know that I built it so it's sort of a bit biasing. I think it's brilliant. But I don't often do stuff like this where it actually looks like it could be a real railway. And this is awesome, especially when buildings build up around the edge and you sort of feel like you're submerged in the city. It sort of reminds me like a little bit subway. -y. Depot on the uh, on the left there, of course. Oh, maybe there is someone actually waiting for this. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? And of course, this is going to bring more people to the ferry. It's going to bring more people up to uh, Silverdale and. Uh, the other place, Castle Point, that's where we are. So there's really no downside to having this, this route in. Hopefully it'll bring more to the buses that we've got, because we've got loads of buses on. Come on, barriers, down you go. Oh, they're off down. Oh, put buses in the ferry place. Ah, right. There was no point in doing that. I get what you mean. I'm with you. Um, but yeah, there was no point in doing that on the little island, because the ferry port actually covers the whole town, so they can just walk. <laughs> uh, what year is this setting? This is currently 1940 odd. Look at this, this is beautiful. I'll tell you what, we'll, uh, now that we're actually here, yeah, it's 1944 at the moment, we started in 1930. I can't believe that the cars are actually faster than the train. We're trying to encourage people to go by train, and the train is so much slower. <laughs> The train will be faster eventually. They're not the fastest of trains these, are they? Maybe you can use the Pioneer Zephyr. I like that idea. Although, to be fair, these can now carry more passengers, and I think rather than speed, it's going to be about capacity down here, because we're going to have freight trains anyway, um, so they're obviously going to slow proceedings up. Um, but yeah, it's definitely going to be about capacity. If things carry on going the way they're going, I mean, look at the amount of demand between Silverdale and Castle Point. Mental. Uh, 
if you buy this Studio Polygon Renown, do you already have to have OMSI 2? Yes, you do. You do. Um, you do need OMSI 2, it's one of the requirements. It's the DLC for that game. So if you buy the Renown without OMSI 2, uh, you, you will be very disappointed. <laughs> it will be a very expensive uh, game code, basically. Um, how come you don't have another city to city bus line uh, to your new city? Uh, that is a very good point, actually. I think next time we'll probably look at doing that. I don't like this, this, yeah, that there. It's too abrupt, that, isn't it? We'll have to change that. Oh, wow, big boy, 81 miles an hour. Still not beating that car. We're as fast as that car, but I think they're probably doing 50 mile an hour as well. Um, yeah, we could do maybe a bus to Gladstone, but it'd just be quicker by train. I mean, the, the reason I put in the bus early on is because this is going to cost a fortune to run a train up. Um, and no bus down there because we may as well have the train. So yeah, there's there's not a lot of other cities. I might do a bus from there to there because you can go through the mountains. Which you can't run a train, same as Port Charles to Queenstown. It would sort of make sense, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, the uh, at this moment in time, these other ones, there's, there's really no point. What on earth's going on here? 21 passengers, how many have we got? 41 Oh god, I, I can see a bit of overcrowding. And that is where we are going to leave it for today. Where's our little train gone? See all the way up here still. Brilliant. Yep. We're going to have another train on there. Yep. We'll have another. Because you know, why not? Keep an eye on him. Yep, that's where we're going to leave it for today. It's been an absolutely brilliant first Transport Fever livestream. And I do hope that you've all enjoyed it. We've got plenty done, haven't we? I mean, we're 14 years in. We've got train stations, we've got buses, ferries, all sorts, and we're actually making a good uh, chunk of money. So that is absolutely awesome. I'd like to thank you all for uh, for coming along this evening, uh, particularly Joe Plus members, Imran, uh, and of course Joe, Freddie DB. Uh, yeah, thank you everybody. It's been absolutely awesome. It's been absolutely brilliant. Uh, so if you have enjoyed the video, please do click the like button. It takes but a moment of your time, and uh, it does help the live stream do a bit better and uh, yeah if it does well I'll probably do it again in the future uh, do of course subscribe if you haven't already it's the best way to keep up with the mini series and we're absolutely going to be coming back to this because I've had a whale of a time I complain this was a small map but there's so much to do on it so yeah uh, and of course small map equals good frame rates so yeah uh, thanks so much for watching everybody and hopefully I'll see you all next time cheerio goodbye for now